chickens out and got Roxy with me today. I always have Roxy with me. <laughs> She's my shadow. I'm, woo, I'm checking out this. don't know if I like this uh, gimbal. It just doesn't want to sit my camera still keeps rotating on me. So, let's go down to the chicken coop and, ooh, nice and bright, and let the chickens out, make sure they have food and water, and let's see, what else? Oh, I checked my phone for the temperature. It says it's like 20 degrees out today. Hopefully, it gets warmer. When I checked yesterday, the weather said it was supposed to get up in the 50s, so hopefully. But look at the sunshine. Hold on. Let's get you around here. The snow's almost gone. Still have a little bit. Cleaned out the back of the truck. Got to take those soda crates back to the store. But, let's go into the chicken coop, and I'm going to set you up, so give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay, I know they're ready to come out. three eggs this morning so far. I'm a little late because they usually lay them out here. Got two more boys sitting inside there. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to turn you around. They have plenty of food and water, but I'd like to give them some crack. And they know the sound of that. There is still some on the ground from last night. If you haven't noticed, my favorite color is purple. Come on, guys. Come on. Now, all of this will get cleaned up once it starts getting warm and we can work outside. There's Roxy. <laughs> I 
Okay, Tommy. Leave the girls alone for a little while. Let them eat. And as you can tell, we have one that the guys have really enjoyed all winter long. There's Penny and Henny. But <laughs> so, <sighs> some of the early morning fun going on. didn't wear my gloves this morning. Now this is the lone male. He gets, he's the bottom of the totem pole guy. But he's beautiful. He's gorgeous. What you doing, old man? eggs that we are hatching are going to look like these guys and girls. Well, today Chris and I of letting that gimbal go. Feels like it's going to come off. Hmm. I don't know if I trust that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'm just going to hold on to you. We are going today to New York. I'm not sure exactly what town in New York, but we're going to go look at tractors, and we will take you along with us. Whew, I forgot my gloves. Not a good thing to do in New England when it's 19 degrees, but maybe I can get down this. Now that the snow pile's gone, I can get down this little area and we can take a walk and I can show you what we're gonna be doing. It's so cold my eyes are watering. Okay, change hands here. Come on, girl. Okay, I'm gonna turn you around. Hold on a sec. All of this is going to be pasture. Now, these trees right here is the property line down to those trees down there. But all of this up to the bottom of that hill which is owned by the state of Vermont. That is the rail trail. Now that was where the Vermont Railroad went through. But all of this is going to be turned into pasture for the goats, the du uh, geese, and maybe if we get ducks ducks are going to have to wait probably until next year. But there's a goodly distance and she's looking for the rabbits. It's a goodly distance and there's plenty of pasture there for them to work on. I'm not going to walk all the way down there, but all of this will be fenced off. Come on! Come on! Roxy, come. Come on. Let's go. Want to go for a ride? And we always take her with us. Come on. Gonna go for a ride. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> she is our truck dog. She goes everywhere with us.
except for when we can't. But. Come on, girl. And I know we're going to go to the, we have to go to the dump today. Oh, it's so cold now. Before we head to New York. Come on. Rough walking. Come on. Still working on her training commands. Roxy, come. Now, Roxy is a rescue. There you go. Uh, people that had her, we've had her for about two and a half years. People that had her kept her in a kennel. She was like 30 pounds underweight. Yeah. So, it's a wonder she likes people as much as she does. Yes, a good girl. Well, I'm gonna pause the video and when we head out I'll turn it back on so you can see where we're going talk to you soon hey guys we are on our way to Fort Edward to go check out um, a Kubota dealer and see what they have in stock and what we can, the best we can get for our bang of money. I've always heard that go for the most amount of horsepower that you can pay for. So, we will see what's there. And of course, our sidekick. Roxy is in, is in the back. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. Yes, where are we going? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, Fort Edward is probably about, what, 45 minutes to an hour from home? Uh, I think it's an hour and ten. But, oh, it depends on traffic. At least it's not snowing. What's the name of the dealership? Um, Emrich. Emrich Sales and Service. They sell a couple different lines of tractors, but their main one is Kubota. They do Club Cadet as well, and um, I believe they have the Yarn Mars. Uh, they have like four different dealerships um, across the state of New York. And the model we're looking for is the. 30... No, I, no. I, 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 we're going to see if they still have a 4701 in stock and uh, what's the best deal we can get on it. Because we're just looking to get just the bucket, right? Yeah, we're, just, we're not going to do the third function valve or any rear, um, rear uh, uh, outputs on the hydraulic system. Um, not until later on. I mean... I, I've, I've really come to the decision... I can take a diesel engine apart and put it back together. I'm sure I can put a hydraulic line on. So I, I don't. I don't think uh, my previous life, life as, a, as a Ford tech um, is going to hinder my ability to do it. But uh, Sherry's driving, and I'm videoing, and uh, we should be there in about an hour from now. Because uh, we're already two towns over from where we live into New York. So. Well, we'll see you in a few minutes.
and uh, to get a canopy and stuff, but I, I think we've come to the conclusion that, that we don't want to do that. Um, you get the cap, you get the cover. That we don't want to do that. And we're basically looking, looking to get it the way it is. With the, with the bucket, with the white material, with the white material bucket and the, and the loader and, uh, and nothing else really on it. I think the only thing else that's on that that's, that's usually on the billing is the block heater. Yep, put the ball, we put a block here and load the tires, yep. The tires are loaded, too. Yep. So have the prices changed in the last couple weeks? Uh, when did you get the quote? I don't want to do it right here. They did, they did just take a 3% upgrade, I'm not sure. I won't yeah. put you on camera if you don't want to be. No, I'm fine with it. I mean, it don't matter. I mean, I've done commercials with them before. Yeah, originally I was looking for a third function valve and, and the um, the rear remote hydraulics and stuff like that. Yes, and prices stuff. have gone up since then, okay. unfortunately. So how much more is the base model tractor? We're look, it, they took a 3% jump across the board. So, okay. It's about $1,500. It's still, it's still a decent price. Now, the will take a 3% as well? It's a, everything. Everything? Yeah, everything right across the board. So we're looking about 3% higher than that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they hit us with that the other day. So. But the light material bucket's much cheaper than that, right? I think it's, it's like 6 million. Yeah, it should yeah, it'll be a little bit. I'm not sure. I, I can't tell you off the top of my head yeah, what it was the price like, It was is. like 6 or 7 Yeah, yeah, it'll, be, it'll definitely be cheaper, yes. Yep. See, I don't need the leveling rod. Okay. I'm not using it for landscaping or grade. Mm -hmm. I'm moving material. Moving it. Yep. Okay. I'm Sherry. Hi, I'm Scott. Nice, nice to meet you. I'm Chris. Scott. Hi, Chris. Nice to meet you. And and what's Roxy. your name? Roxy. Your name is. I love attention. Oh yes, yes. she does. <laughs> Believe it or not, she was a rescue. She was a cage dog. They kept really? her in a they kept her in a crate in the house all day long. Yeah. Um. That's why she loves the attention. No. Yep. Yep. How long does it take to get a food? Usually, by the time you get it in, may take a half hour or so by the time they get back to you. So it's just like the county issue. Yeah, basically, you know, we, we just we submit the information into the computer, you know, what, what the tractor is and everything, and they, they run your the app and they come back, you know, give us a reply back on the, lock, on, you know, on the computer and you know, what it's going to be. When we get done, when we get the approval back from them, we know what your payment's going to be, what the insurance is, everything's right there. Yeah, because you've got, a, you've got to carry insurance on it for a term, terms of the term, loan. Term of the loan, yes. Yep. And that's what, 50, 60 bucks a month roughly? Uh, on that tractor there, probably right in that neighborhood, yeah. I think the last time I looked at looked at yeah. them, it was like, it was like 56 dollars or something. Yeah, but the insurance is phenomenal for what it is, I mean. Yeah. You bend the shit out of the loader and yes, and, yeah. And something you know, say say a tree falls, on hundred dollar deductible. It. Yeah, it's like two two hundred fifty dollar deductible. All right, you cover the rust, or they cover the rust. Yep. You know, it's you you can't beat it for what it is. It's the car insurance that was a hundred dollar deductible. Yeah. <laughs> I knew one of them was. Yeah, no, no, that it's it's two fifty, but yeah, yeah. those R fours are. Uh, that's the R fours. All right, that's what I thought they were. And you go over to the next tractor over. That's the Ags. It's the R one. That's yep. That's the R one. Yeah. And then the yeah, PX right there, that's the, that's the R3s, the that's industrials. The, that's the, uh, yeah, the E series is the R14s, the R4 is down there. Okay. The R4s, they got that flatter yep. top on. They've so been well, shipping them that way too. Yeah. Yeah, a I lot of, yeah, well, it depends on how we order them. I think the bigger ones, they come shipped in yeah. stand, you want all the specs are based on an R1 tire. Basically, and, yeah, and there's a the base model, yep. Yeah. But if I wanted that tractor, if I order that tractor with R fours, it would come in with R fours, or it'll come in baked in. Yep. We we determine how we want it to be dressed when it comes in. Those um those draw bars, the adjustable ones, how much do they normally from the past one? You know? I do not know. Okay. I do not know. 
I noticed that that one doesn't have it, but these two do. Yeah, certain ones do. Yeah, when you get up to your bigger units, they'll have the adjustable jaw bars. Which size is this one? That's a 3560. Yeah, this one right here. That's 3560 as well. Oh, it is? That's cab, that, obviously. That's cab. Yeah, that, I thought 60 men had a cab. No, 60 is a series of the truck. Okay. Yeah. I just noticed a lot so, of the ones with cabs were 60, so. Yeah. No, that's the 60 series, yes. I know someone, some companies have a difference in the last couple numbers. Yeah. I don't know whether it's a cab or not. It's like Yanma, like here. Hey guys, we just filled out the paperwork to see if I could get financed for the tractor that we were looking at. And now he is bringing it around, so I'm getting to get to uh, try to drive it. <laughs> so we'll see what we see and see if uh, it's something that only Chris is going to be able to do or if I can learn to do it myself. Because I don't want to have to rely on Chris all the time. So, here it is. Exactly. Exactly. Tractor's a tractor. 